In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through step by step how to create a command line utility in Node.js. The command line utility we're going to build is a utility which takes in as a command line argument a time zone. You pass it in a time zone and it's going to tell you what's the current time in the time zone. So I'll walk you through how to build this and we will be touching upon a lot of the topics we've been covering in this course so far, including downloading, using third-party libraries. So let's get started. So here's my Visual Studio code open with an empty directory. The directory's name is timezone-util. So I'm pretty much starting from a clean slate. I'm gonna create a new NPM project using npm init. This is gonna give me a bunch of questions to answer, starting with the package name. It just assumes the name of the directory, which is fine with me, I just hit enter. If you wanna change the name of the package, you can enter that name over here and hit enter. Version 1.0 is fine. Description, I'm just leaving it as empty. Entry point index.js is fine. Uh, no test command, no git repository, no keywords. Uh, author is blank, license is blank. I'm pretty much leaving everything as a default. Is this okay? Yes, and now npm init is gonna create this package.json file with these values. The value itself is not that important, it's just that we have a placeholder where we can run npm install and all those dependency information, the metadata information about the project is gonna go and sit there. Now I need one file at least, one JavaScript file at least, I'm gonna call this index.js, and this is gonna be where I'm gonna write the code which does this behavior. The behavior that we're looking for is, somebody can run the script with a command line argument, which is the time zone, all right? So you can give any time zone you want, and this utility is gonna give you the current time at that time zone. All right, now how do you do this? Well, we're gonna start by getting the libraries that we need to do this time zone conversion. The library that I'm gonna use is moment.js. And here's the website for moment.js, and uh, here is the npm install command for moment.js. Uh, the dash dash save is not really required for the newer versions of NPM, but you can do a dash dash save if you're using an older version. And that's one that's what's gonna add this into the dependencies section in package.json. All right, now in addition to moment.js, I'm also gonna use this moment time zone. All right, so this is the library which lets you parse and display dates in any time zone. This seems like something we wanna do. So I'm gonna copy this NPM command as well and I'm going to add this here. So we have dependencies on both moment and moment time zone. I'm going to require moment time zone over here because that's what's going to help us do the conversion to the time zone and it's gonna pull in moment uh, with it. So I'm going to do a const moment equals require of moment time zone. Okay, so now moment has been initialized. Now what I can do is set what the default time zone is because when I'm creating a new date or a new moment instance, it needs to know which time zone I'm in at the current time, at the current location. So I'm going to do that first. That is by doing moment dot time zone dot set default and this is where I can set my current time zone. So I currently happen to be in the PST time zone, so I'm gonna enter that time zone over here. This is America slash Los Angeles. You have to enter the time zone that you are in because this is gonna establish the base where all the current time is calculated because in order to convert to a different time zone, you need to know what the current time is in your time zone so that it has a starting point to convert to, right? It needs to know not only the time, but also the time zone you're in. Now that you know this, the next step is to create a new moment, which is basically getting the current date, all right? Now you need to do this conversion. This moment needs to be converted to the time zone of your choice. So let's say the target time zone equals, say, Europe slash Paris. I want to know what the time is at Paris at this time. Okay, so this is my target time zone. Now what I need to do is, I have the current date, I need to convert it into the target time zone. I'm hard coding the target time zone here for now. 
we will be changing this to get as a command line argument next. But for now, let's get this to work with the hardcoded time zone. Convert this moment into the hardcoded time zone is to use the dot tz or tz and pass in your target time zone. Okay, and then I do a format and this is gonna give me the time the time in that time zone. So I'm just gonna do a console.log of this and we should be able to see what the time is. Okay, so let's run this to see what the output is. First of all, my current time is Jan 25th, 317 p.m., all right? And this is the Pacific time zone, which is what I've set as the default over here. Now, let's run this to see what the time is in Paris at this point. So I'm gonna do a node index.js, and it's gonna tell me the time in Paris is 26th of Jan, and uh, it is 17 minutes past midnight. All right, so that sounds reasonable enough. So I'm gonna go with this, and uh, I'm going to make this uh, look a little bit better. The time at the, I'm gonna use the backtick here so that I don't have to do a lot of string concatenation and stuff. Time at the time zone. is, and then another over here. So now, if I were to run this, it's gonna give me a nice message here. Okay, so this lets us do the conversion part, but this is not enough. What we wanna do is accept this as an argument, okay? What we wanna be able to do is say node index.js and then pass this as an argument, okay? I'm gonna put this like this and it should be able to take this value here and use it. Right now, it doesn't it doesn't take anything that I put over here, right? So to say, give it a time zone, it's still gonna use the Europe Paris time zone, which I've hardcoded here for obvious reasons. Now I wanna be able to take this, whatever is passed in, and use that for the conversion. Now how do I do this? The way to get command line arguments is using an object called process, okay? So there is this object that's available to you in your Node.js uh, script, and you can access it by using process dot, and then there is this object called argv, which gives you the command line arguments, okay? So let me just do console.log of this thing so that you know what I'm talking about. If I do this, console.log of argv, put this over here, now this is gonna print out all the command line arguments that's passed to this thing. So if I were to execute this like this, it's gonna pass in, it's gonna print out three command line arguments. The first is the node path, which is basically what this is, right? We're using node to invoke a script. The second is the script path itself, which is this. I just typed index.js, so it has resolved to the path in my file system for index.js. And then the third argument, is this guy over here, which is the time zone. So what I wanna do is take that third argument and use it instead of this hard-coded target time zone. Okay, now how do I do that? Well, it's fairly simple. Now, first I'm gonna do is check uh, if all the three arguments are passed in. If there are not three arguments, then they haven't been using this right. So I'm gonna do process.argv is uh, less than three. Or let me actually make it not equal to three. Then I'm gonna do console.log usages node script file time zone. Okay, so if they're not passing in the right arguments, I wanna give a helpful text which indicates that this is what you're supposed to use this for. Else, if they've been using it right, then I'm going to do target time zone equals process dot argv of two. So I'm gonna get this value, all right? I'm gonna have to declare this up above here. I'm gonna say let target time zone. 
Okay, now it's not enough to just print this console. I need to exit as well. Someone hasn't passed in all the arguments. There's no point in continuing further. You want to print the message and then exit. And the way to exit, again, the recommended best practice is to say process dot exit off one, which indicates that there is something that went wrong. All right, so if that doesn't happen, if they have passed in all the right arguments, then I'm going to get the target time zone as argv of two, which is going to give me this. And then I don't need this anymore, and I don't need this anymore. And now it should be able to convert it to the time zone that has been passed in. Now, if I were to run this, I need to do a dot length here. I'm sorry. No wonder that didn't work. So if I were to do this, it realizes that this is the time zone that I need to pick up. Okay, and now let me run with this, and then it tells me the time at that time zone. And if I don't pass in a time zone, I just do this then I'm going to get this usage message and then it ends the program, all right? So this is a quick look at a script which does a bunch of things. A, it uses third-party libraries and we did this by creating an npm init and then adding npm install, added the dependencies into our node modules folder and then we were able to use this and then set a default time zone and then converted the time zone how did we get the time zone? Well, we used process.argv to get all the uh, values that are passed in as arguments. Process.argv is gonna give us an array of all the arguments that are passed in. And now we check if the array length is not equal to three. Well, that means that they're either passing too few or too many arguments, both of which you know we don't wanna proceed. Uh, we give them a helpful message and then we do a process.exit, which is how you exit from a node program. If the length of the arguments is equal to three, that means that they are probably doing the right thing and passing the time zone as the last argument, right? Which is at position two. So I'm going to get that, assign it to target time zone, which is a variable. And then I'm going to use the moment time zone library to convert to that time zone and then print it out. There are a bunch more error handling conditions that you can do, which is make sure that what you're passing over here is the is a time zone and not anything else. So you're not passing in foo or bar or whatever else. But that, I will leave it to you as an exercise. Uh, hope this was helpful. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you about an important concept which affects all of your Node.js development, which is the concept of callbacks. We have kind of been using callbacks in this course, but in the next tutorial, I'm gonna help you understand what callbacks actually are and how it works. It is associated with Node.js being the single-threaded uh, environment where things happen asynchronously. So we will take a callback API and we will examine it and kind of see how it works. I'll see you in the next tutorial.